Hello and welcome to episode 12 of my Modern Warfare 2 Weapon Guides. This is Xbox Ahoy, and in this video I'm going to be talking about the second available shotgun, the AA-12. The AA-12 is unlocked at level 18. It is fully automatic, the only such shotgun in the game. The AA-12, or the Auto Assault 12, was originally developed in 1972 by Maxwell Agenson in the United States. The version in-game is a modern revision to Aegisson's original design, as produced in 2005 by Military Police Systems Incorporated. The AA-12, like all the other shotguns, fires the common 12-gauge cartridge. Based on the number of pellets per shot fired, it's likely to be double aught buckshot. The iron sights are somewhat bulky, but given the limited range of the AA-12, you are unlikely to have any problems aiming. As is typical for the shotguns, the AA-12 is deadly up close, capable of killing in one shot at point-blank ranges. As the AA-12 is fully automatic, the range and damage inflicted is somewhat less than the slower firing Spaz-12, but two or three shots is normally enough to kill anyone within effective range. The reduced range means you will have to get closer to your enemy to kill them, but there's little that can stop you once you're in range. The automatic fire means the first shot isn't as critical as it is with the spaz, as if you just hold down the trigger you can unleash a further 7 shots in just a couple of seconds. The AA-12 has a relatively small magazine however, just 8 rounds, so if you waste all of them you will be vulnerable until you reload. The first attachment available is the red dot sight. The red dot doesn't hamper the lethality of the AA-12 in any way, but it doesn't help either. The sights are entirely superfluous to the use of the AA-12. You can also attach a silencer to the AA-12, which reduces your effective range to about half of the normal distance. More often than not, you'll find your shots harmlessly dissipate in front of your opponents before they have the chance to connect. The silencer is not recommended. The grip allows you to control fully automatic fire somewhat better. Although the large spread and required close range means the AA-12 is fairly controllable without. Interestingly, the grip also seems to improve weapon swap time slightly, which might come in useful. In the absence of any better attachments unlocked before the grip, I'd recommend you use this over the sights or silencer. FMJ is the fourth unlock, which provides a marginal improvement in wall penetration, although don't expect to shoot through anything thicker than sheet metal. It can be effective when coupled with sitrep in order to shoot claymores through a wall, but you're usually better off with stun grenades to disable them instead. The holographic side is next, and is nearly identical in performance and usefulness to the red dot sight. These sights are little more than just decoration for the shotguns. Finally, at 400 kills with the AA-12 you gain access to the last, and arguably most useful, attachment. Extended magazines. Instead of 8 rounds, barely enough to tackle 2 enemies, you get a generous 16. Great against clusters of enemies, and capable of clearing entire rooms if you are undetected and take the initiative. Of all the attachments available, I'd recommend extended mags where available. The AA-12 works best in situations where you can get close to an enemy before they have a chance to fire upon you. Stopping power isn't essential with this weapon, as if you're in range, holding down the trigger will unleash a deadly hail of buckshot. The key is getting as close as possible, so for your red perk slot, lightweight is by far the best choice. Couple the AA-12 with an SMG for maximum mobility. If you plan on using the AA-12 quite often in a game, you might consider using Scavenger Pro to bolster your ammunition supply. Without it, you'll get a mere 16 shells. With Scavenger, you'll get a more wholesome 32.
scavenger is also good for refilling your supply of grenades. I found stun grenades are essential for slowing down enemies so I can get close to them and unleash the AA-12. I found the underused sit rep to be a great third bug to use, particularly in free-for-all where claymores seem to be very popular. In situations where you see the red silhouette, you can throw a stun grenade to disable the claymore for a short while, then enter the building and clear out the campers with ease. Throw a frag instead if you want to destroy the claymore, and eventually you'll unlock Sitrep Pro, allowing you to hear enemies' footsteps more clearly. At close range, the only things capable of beating the AA-12 are other shotgun users and commando. If you adopt an aggressive shotgun rush tactic with lightweight, you will often take even the most well-prepared camper by surprise. Be sure to use your stun grenades, particularly in open areas where you are vulnerable. Hit them with a stun while you're in cover, and quickly avoid their fire and flank them. While they're stunned, they won't be able to turn quickly enough to avoid you. The AA-12 might lack the power or range of some of those shotguns, but the sheer amount of lead that can be fired on target makes this an awesome weapon. Once you learn the art of getting close to your enemies, and using stuns and cover to turn situations around to your favour, you will be very effective in close quarters. With extended mags and an aggressive style of play, the enemy team won't stand a chance. Thanks for watching, this has been Xbox Ahoy. Join me next time when I'll be taking a look at the second SMG, the UMP-45. Farewell for now.